Sam and Crenshaw. The name of my fraternity is the I am Jamarco Morgan, a proud member of Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. My name is Chesley McNeil. My name is Sam Crenshaw. The name of my fraternity is the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. And we do like this. I do! I'm Donna Lowry with Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So we decided on that day that we would go no other way. We cracked Destination, aka Destination, aka. I am Blaine Alexander. I'm one of the reporters at 11 Alive, and I am also a dynamic diva, a proud member of Delta Sigma Theta. a proud member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I'm Karen Greer. We may belong to different houses, but we're all a part of the same trusted family. We may belong to different houses, but we're all a part of the same trusted family. I love it a lot. is his name. He's a member of the Omega Phi Psi fraternity and they've adopted the atomic dog as their uh, dance. Now let's take a look. Do we have it? Turning on the crowd. Even though Michigan's three and four, the crowd loves this guy. Yeah, we, we have a member of the Omega Psi Phi. Do we? I've seen that dance. Yeah, it look like yeah. I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen you no, do that. No, I have right? tried yeah. to do it badly. Can you <laughs> do, 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 do it? Do it. Do it. Every every uh, Omega man, if they hear that song, they, they can't help themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Members of the Sigma Tau Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa. Alpha celebrated the first ever event. They gave away nearly $30,000 in scholarships and donations to organizations like the American Heart Association, American Cancer Society, and Habitat for Humanity. The group also handed out several $2,500 scholarships to high school seniors. The money was raised throughout the year, and members say they just wanted to help others. Our own Tisha Powell, an AKA member herself, served as MC. We've got some breaking news in a deadly double shooting near Richmond High School. Police have now identified the victim. Good evening, I'm Bill Fitzgerald. I'm Candace Burns. New tonight at 6, Shelby Brown is... It all happened in Delaware County today. Good afternoon. I'm Chris May. I'm Jessica Dean. Right now, a manhunt is underway for the girl's abductor. We do know that Darren Haynes is successful tonight in sending a message. That is true. Please I'll, explain, I'm sir. wearing my gold boots. My frat brothers of Omega Sci-Fi were celebrating 100 years today, and I told years. them, I only get one chance. If it's 200 years, I don't think I'll be alive. No, maybe So I'm not. wearing our gold boots celebrating our manhood scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. Very nice, sir. I know you don't understand, but just say... Congratulations for all 100 years. Just say, be out. I'm sorry? Just say, be out. Be out. Everybody else understands that. Uh
This is one of the, fa- the, the powerful ways that conversational hypnosis and NLP creates powerful changes in people. Because a neurolinguistic programmer, somebody who understands how the brain actually processes information, can talk to you at one level and be activating you on another. Okay? In, this, in, the, in the context we're in here, it's a very good thing. In the context of the people running the country, not so good. The, the most prehistoric, the most primal, the most powerful part of you is your reptile brain. The Russian sports psychologists call this your paleocortex. Okay? It is the part of you that works in primal drives. Food, family, fighting, fleeing, fornicating. Okay? It's the part of you that works in terms of primal drives. It's driving the bus. This is why you'll, every now and then you'll, you'll hear me make an off-color remark. It's not just because I want to be vulgar. It's because every time I stimulate the reptile brain, I get 20 more minutes of attention. And I need your attention. I need you to understand this. Okay. Wrapped around your reptile brain is another layer. It's called your limbic system or your mammalian brain. This is your emotional brain. This is the part of you that generates feelings. Right? There's a, a subset of lawyers in this country, some of whom I've trained, and they practice a system called reptile. And it's all based on how to speak and present to the reptile brain. And they are winning multi, multi million dollar lawsuits using it. Okay? There's a whole field called neuromarketing, which is all about presenting information in a way that the reptile brain has to respond to. This is Dantalian Jones. Today I'm going to discuss how to use a simple technique called pacing and leading to influence and persuade. This will be one of your greatest tools of mind control. Let's begin by understanding what is the difference between a pace and a lead. A pace is a statement that is true, something all parties would agree to being true without dispute. All of the following statements are paces. You are watching a video. Your eyes are open. You're listening to my voice. So all these things are true and can't easily be argued, and as a result, they are accepted. When you state several things that are paces in a row, the mind of the subject gets into a pattern of accepting what is being said. That's the perfect time to introduce a lead or leading statement. A lead or leading statement is something that you want to be accepted by your subject. It's what you want them to accept without judgment, and it's something they could dispute. Now, here's the formula that I recommend. Three pacing statements followed by a leading statement.
Get back in. 